This video is all about Curtis. If you're thinking about a move within or to the Durham region, Curtis might not be one of the areas that comes to mind right away, but it's such a great area to consider calling home. So in this video, I'm gonna talk all about Curtis, where it is, what amenities you'll find here, and what real estate options there are. If we haven't met yet, my name is Vilia Trulove. I'm a local Durham region real estate agent with almost 20 years experience, and I'd love to help you with your move too. All my contact information is included below, reach out anytime, and download my free Durham Region Guide at the same time. So Curtis is part of Clarington. It sits right between Oshawa on the west and Bowmanville on the east. It's a relatively small area, just one exit off the 401, the Curtis Road exit. One of the nice things about Curtis is that it's the furthest west of the Clarington area. So for your commute into Toronto, you're really only a few minutes more than Oshawa. And if trying to get to the Oshawa Go, you're quite close. It also makes for a short drive if you wanna come into Oshawa for the mall or to see a concert at the Tribute Community Center, for example. You'll still find a lot of farmland in Curtis. You can see some of it behind me here. Residential building really started in the 80s and it continues, uh, has continued to grow since then. So amenities, what will you find in Curtis? You'll actually find a lot of what you need here. Along King Street at Town Line and then going east, you'll find most of the shopping. Grocery stores, some pubs and restaurants. There are dental and medical office buildings here. For a hospital, you have one on either side of you. Oshawa and Bowmanville both have hospitals, so a short drive away. You can also get some of your shopping done at the Curtis Flea Market. It's quite a popular spot on the weekends. It's an authentic flea market with a farmer's market and about 100 vendors. Definitely worth a visit. There are both Catholic and public grade schools and high schools here. Holy Trinity Catholic High School is actually known for having a fantastic football team. I know this because we lost to them a lot last season. Uh, South Curtis Arena has two ice rinks with ice all year long, a small gymnasium and meeting rooms, as well as a full-size outdoor soccer field with lights and artificial turf. And Curtis Community Complex has an indoor pool and fitness facilities, plus a skate park and small outdoor fields uh, outside. Curtis borders Lake Ontario, and there is a nice waterfront area here for walking or having a swim. Darlington Provincial Park is also right here in Curtis. You can rent a campsite, you can swim, canoe and fish, and there's an awesome beach area here. Though technically considered camped in this far north, Tingles Farm is just on Taunton Road and is a really fun farm to go apple picking, or taking the sunflowers in the summer. Curtis is actually the only town in Clarington that doesn't have a historic downtown area. You'll find those in Bowmanville, Newcastle, and Orono, but you'll still get the small town vibe when you're here. So though you might not find absolutely everything you want here, there is a lot of what you need for your day-to-day -day living and you'll be a short drive from anything that's missing. Curtis is a residential community. It really isn't known for having much industry here or large scale amenities like concert venues, for example. It was farm fields and is now filled with neighborhoods and they're continuing to build more and more as the need for nice homes and neighborhoods in Durham is still so high. So now let's talk about real estate in Curtis. There are some great neighborhoods throughout Curtis and there really are options for just about every budget. If you're looking for your uh, for your first home. Prices throughout the summer have started around the mid 600s to about 750 for starter homes. This price point will get you a townhouse or a smaller detached, and it will still get you the three bedroom, two bath home in some great family neighborhoods. From 750,000 to about the lower 900s, you'll find some amazing options for three or even four bedroom homes. Some larger townhomes, but mostly detached, two stories or bungalows. There are some really beautiful homes in this price point with two car garages, some backing onto green space and awesome neighborhoods. From 950 to about 1.1, 1.15 will get you an absolutely gorgeous home in Curtis. Four bedrooms, two car garages, large lots, executive style homes. And then if you're looking for a custom built showstopper, Curtis has those as well. So really an option for the first time buyer just starting out all the way up to the $2 million home. So that finishes off my tour of Curtis. If you're thinking of a move to Curtis or somewhere else in the Durham region, reach out anytime. All my contact information is included below. If it's the right time for you and you're tired of renting, reach out and we can get the process started. And feel free to check out my other videos to see more about what the Durham region has to offer. Thanks so much for watching.